What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to make coins here in NBA Live Mobile Season 4. So we're basically gonna be going through all of the ways that you can make some money, all right, so that you can build your team here in NBA Live Mobile. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys have not seen my insane pack opening from earlier, definitely go check that out, all right? I'm doing a $100 giveaway. The winners will be chosen this Saturday. So if you guys haven't entered that giveaway, the link is at the top of the description. I'm going to be making a separate video talking strictly about the giveaway so that, you know, more people can really, you know, enter because bruh, it's, it's free money. It's free money that you're able to win. So you want to enter that if you guys haven't already. All right. So coins transferred over from season three. So I'm sitting at 4.1 million coins right now here on my main account. A lot of people have like 20 mil, 30 mil, all that good stuff. For But on my no money spin account, I only have like 700K and that's not going to cut it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make more. So I'm going to show you guys how to make some more coins here in NBA Live Mobile. So you get free pro packs every single day. You know what I mean? You have a chance of pulling elites out of them pro packs. So... Those are good ways to make coins. I know it's something simple right there, but free pro packs every single day. You want to make sure you are claiming that, all right? Let's take a look and see how much things are going for, bro. So if you look at 76 overall goals, look, a 79 overall is going for 200K. Like, come on, bro. 79 overall is going for 200K. Let's just double check real quick. All right, so 76 and above. Look, these gold players, look at how much they're going for. 76s are going for over 80,000 coins. So what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Buy these for cheap, sell them for more. You guys can see one of them sold at 76k. So if I bought or uh 37k. So if I bought that one for 37k, I could turn around and sell it for 80k. Look, this one right here just sold for 80,000 coins. So if I'm buying these golds up for 37k and I'm reselling them for 80k, I'm making over 40k profit for each gold I buy for under 40k. All right. So if you're doing that, say you do, you know, this is what you call sniping. You know what I'm saying? You just refresh. You keep refreshing until you see new cards pop up. So let's look at 50k and below real quick. So look at this. This is 76s and above. You could try to look at 75s. 75s. Let me see how much are, how much 75s are going for real quick. Look at that, bro. So you could do 75s and above. And look at that. They're selling for over 80k. So what we're going about to we're, what we're about to do is we're about to hit around real quick, bro. We're about to hit around real quick, bro. So basically, you know, a new round refreshes every five minutes. You know what I'm saying? So sniping wasn't really a thing back in season three. I mean, it might have been a thing, but it wasn't as crazy as it was in season two and season one. But now in season three, bro, you're seeing cards drop for this amount of coins. I don't think there's any auction house cap yet. So with there not being any auction house caps, cards can drop for like 101 coins and all that good stuff. And then you can um, pick them up and you can make insane profit off of that. All right. Yeah. So basically I keep clicking the refresh button. I try to time it right. You have to have pretty good internet to do this. If your internet is trash, then you're not going to be able to get the snipes. My stuff is going pretty slow. Honestly, uh, this right here is a faster method of refreshing clicking my bids and browse. That's a technique I like to use. So we're going to keep doing this until the round drops and then we'll see if we can get some real quick. Um, let's try to do 50 K and below actually so that we can get uh, more pop ups here. So nothing dropped yet. So we're going to keep on doing this technique until we see a new group of cards pop up. Now you can all you can all you can uh, also do this with elite players. You can try to find a good elite filter to snipe at. Because if you have a decent amount of coins coming into season four, then you can use those coins to make more coins. All right. The more coins you have, the more coins you're going to be able to make. So say I have four million coins, right? And say I use all of these coins and I snipe a whole bunch of gold players with all of these coins. I can easily triple my coins just from doing that. All right. 
And, you know, like I said, if you're opening pro packs, like, for example, from my pack opening earlier today, I pulled a whole bunch of 75s, I pulled a whole bunch of 76s, I pulled, you know, an elite, I got a bunch of elite jerseys and coaches. We're going to talk about jerseys and coaches in a minute, though. I'm just trying to hit this round real quick. But yeah, man, right when a new uh, set of players pop up, now they're not going to pop up every single time, of course, you know what I'm saying? There will be them times where uh, cards will not pop up. But yeah, man, you want to make sure you get your timing right. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to keep going. We'll, we'll be right back once a new. Boom. Oh. Oh, I messed up. No. But you guys can see we ended up getting one of them bad boys. You know what I'm saying? All right, I still got it in me, bro. I still got it in me. Somebody beat me to that second one, though. But you guys can see that technique works. Uh, it allows you to refresh a lot quickly or a lot quicker uh let me see can i find the one that i got where's the one that i got it was probably this guy so we got the 75 overall washington you know what i'm saying we got him for like a good 40k I, I didn't really see how much we got him for you guys saw it all right you guys saw it in the footage so we got him for 50k and below i know that much so let's see how much he whoops all right, so let's look at 75, Washington. You guys could see only three of them dropped that round. If you guys want more pops up, more pop-ups in each round, you could definitely increase the price. But that is just going to, um, you know, lower down the profit you're making. What was that dude's name, bro? Yeah, his name is Washington, small forward. Bruh. All right, let's just look at 75 small forwards. And he is from the lockdown chemistry. All right. So you guys can see, man. So 76s are going for 93K. All right. So 94K. So a 75 will probably go for like, I'll throw him for a cool 84,999. You know what I mean? And a 74,999. Oh, well, we'll just post him up for that. So. If he does sell, you know what I mean? We will be making easy 30K profit just from that one snipe. And bro, every five minutes, a new round pops up. So if you're making 30, if you get at least one snipe around, you're making 30K every round, bro. 30K every five minutes. So if you do this for an hour, you don't have to sit on here all day. You could be watching a YouTube video. You could be playing some 2K, playing some Madden, all right? Shout out to the PS4 gang, you know what I mean? But yo, you could be on the game, right? And then every five minutes, you could log on, refresh, and then make your 30K every five minutes. So if you do this every single round, all right? There's 12 rounds in an hour, all right? So 30 times 12 is, all right, let's do the math, bro. Let's, let's do the math, all right? 30 times 12. So 30 times 10 is 300. And then 30 times two is 60. All right, so 360, you will be making 360K per hour if you get at least one snipe around. But if you get two snipes around, right? If you get two snipes around, then you're making double that. 600 and no, 720K or uh, yeah, 720K per hour. So yeah, if you get at least one snipe on this gold player filter, then you will be able to make at least 30K uh, every five minutes. But if you snipe a 79, if a 79 pops up, you guys saw 79s are going for like 200K, bro. Look at this, 330K for a 79. Let's look at 78s. Let's just look at 78s real quick. Bruh, 200K for a 78? Like, bruh. Let's look at 77s. There's no 77s on the block right now. So you guys can see, you can make easy money just from selling your players. Like, boom, I could throw Augustine up for like 85K, you know? Oh, he's not auctionable, but uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, easy way to make money. Snipe up them cards, make easy money. You could try to snipe elites as well. So let's see how much elites are going for. Dang, more than 200K, bruh. What?
400k really ea rubio sold for 351 so elites will be uh, harder to snipe of course this ingles sold for uh 313 so if you can catch any elites under i would say if you were to snipe elite players i would snipe elites for under like 250 because there is an auction house tax so say i sold a card all right so look Say I sold a card for 300k, they will be taking 30k away because of the tax, so I'm only going to be getting 270k back, all right? So if I'm selling cards for 300k and I'm only getting 270k back, I want to snipe the cards for uh, probably like 240k and below so that I'm at least making 30k profit per snipe. But yeah, man, sniping is your friend this year, all right? Sniping is your friend this year. Snipe up these cards, make that money, you know what I mean? All of the free packs that you get from pro packs and all that good stuff, you can easily make money just from doing that. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you complete these sets right here, you get these elite game of the night tokens, and then you can get these game of the night players, and then boom, that's an 81 overall that you could sell and make some coins. So yeah, man, this year is going to be a grind. You guys already know. I'm going to start sniping over on my no money spin account. Um... Let's uh, get rid of that. No I don't know. Why, why do I have that dude's notifications on? That dude's a bum. All right. But yeah, man, you know, I still haven't sold anything from my pack opening. I'm probably going to start selling stuff. I, I really don't need to sell anything, bro. I got four mil. Like, I'm set for now. I'm probably just going to start sniping. I'm trying to get my lineups up. You know what I mean? My lockdown lineup is looking pretty litty. But yo, there is the first coin making guide of NBA Live Mobile Season 4. Once new methods come out, then I will go ahead and let you guys know. You can also sell jerseys and courts. All right. So those are two other things that you guys can snipe as well. All right. Also, let me uh, show you guys something else real quick. So there is a trade up set. There is a trade up set here. You could throw your silvers in here, get yourself some golds. All right. Because these silvers aren't going to be going in, going for anything. Nobody wants any type of silver players. So you can trade in your silvers, trade them into the golds. I don't know if you want to trade your golds in here because it might not be worth it. Um, I'm going to trade in some 70s. We'll throw in some 70s, you know what I'm saying, to do this set real quick. But yeah, man, this set gives you a 75 to 79. So if you pull a 79, that's 200K in your pocket, bro. 77. You guys saw that there were no 77s on the block, bro. So I don't know how much those are going for. I'll probably throw mine up for like a good 150 real quick. But yo, if you're trading silvers up, silvers that don't really have any value to them, and if you're getting these high overall goal players, then bro, you can easily make bank from that as well. So I'm gonna throw that for a good one, 149999. And then we'll do 115000. I like posting my cards for weird prices, bro. They be selling. Uh, but yeah, man. So in this video, we made a good 220K. You know what I'm saying? In uh, 15 minutes. So yeah man it's that easy to make coins in nba live mobile season 4 a lot of people have coins right now that is the main reason why things are so expensive practice your sniping try to get faster all right if your internet is not good if you have that mcdonald's wi-fi then just go to wendy's and use their wi-fi all right i am the wendy's expert the four for fours are the go-to i had one earlier today that is going to wrap it up for this coin making guide if you guys did enjoy make sure to definitely click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new i hope my camera isn't blurry like what the come on bruh all right if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to definitely click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I do drop a video. I'm trying to double upload for you guys every single day until I can get myself a new computer because I'm trying to stream, but my computer is acting foolish right now and I'm not able to stream right now. But once we do get this new PC pretty soon, I will be bringing you guys streams every single day. All right. But until then, we double uploading every single day. So have notifications turned on. Drop like on this video subscribe if you guys are new let's try to hit 91k this weekend we're getting pretty close we should hit it by friday all right so subscribe if you guys are new this is the road to 100k y'all know the slogan screw the haters i'll see you guys later peace out